joining us now from Cheshire, Connecticut, are the Reverend Richard and Mary Bell Hawk, the parents of murder victim Jennifer Hawk Pettit, and in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Jennifer's sister, Cynthia Wren. Thank you all for taking the time to be with us today. Jennifer, could you, could you, could you hear, I was Cynthia, I'm sorry. Could you hear the, 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 the jurors? Could you hear what they had to say? I did. And as, I was, um, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm very moved by what they speak of and how difficult it was for them. When you heard the jury return this death penalty, what did you think? I had a huge sense of relief that it was over. I don't think it ever sounds good that you're thinking about taking another person's life, but um, in the events of what happened and the things that this man caused, I feel that it called for what they decided upon. Reverend Hawk, you're an ordained minister. Um, certainly in your years of studying the, the Bible, you would have to have real questions about a situation like this. What's your feeling about this death penalty? Well, um, we entered into the whole situation confronted, uh, confronting our lives with that very question. We really felt like we were between a rock and a hard place for we value life so much. But um, we have become aware over these three plus years of the terrible killing that took place on that July day back in 2007, that we have come to realize that there are some people who just do not deserve to live in God's world. And we feel that Stephen was one of those. He has spent uh, the largest part of his life in crime activities, being in and out of jails and prison, and lying and conniving and alibiing in order to be paroled. And every time he would go out, after saying that he wanted to be a changed person, he never changed at all and went right back to those same activities. Mm. And that led him up to that experience uh, on July 23rd, right. when he took the lives in such a heinous way of our family. Maryville, I have very little time left. What did it mean to you to know that the jury kept a picture of your daughter and your granddaughter daughters with them as they were going through this deliberation? I felt that that was very touching. Uh, I, I can understand them doing that. Um, I, I know that they put themselves into this responsibility uh, and really uh, took a lot of courage for them to face day after day of the situation in court. And uh, while we were sitting there uh, going through all the agony of the repeated uh, messages that came through, we still could understand that uh, they were giving a large part of their lives uh, to the effort that they had. So we, we were proud that they were the people they were and so thoughtful and carried forth so well in their task. Reverend Hawk, Mary Bell, thank you very much. Cynthia, thank you all very much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. And uh, as we have said before, we are so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you.